Good morning guys, I am smack dab in the middle of doing my makeup, but I'm pretty sure that Ronan is not sleeping, he's supposed to be napping, and I think I heard him on the monitor, so I thought I would just go upstairs and you can greet him for the morning, it's like 10.18. <laughs> You're supposed to be sleeping. No? You wanna come downstairs with mama? Okay, so need to add a little bronzer. I'm not very careful about putting my bronzer on. <laughs> Not a lot of people really see me except for you guys anyways, I'm mostly just going to stay at home mom. It's dusty. <laughs> These things kind of look like torture devices. Cannot forget highlight. And this is a new lip and cheek tint that I got. Okay, so almost done. Dry shampoo. Good enough. What are you doing? Quite animated. You say mama. Uh, chill out. Chill. You will survive. Okay, so that reminds me that I did want to talk to you guys about something, and that is temper tantrums. Um, Ronan is eight months old, and I want to say for like maybe a week or two now, he's been having definitely what I would consider temper tantrums. Like clearly. He's not getting his way, and so he's acting a certain way. Like, yesterday I was trying to film a video, and he, like, got into some scissors, and I took the scissors away from him gently, and he was like, rah, rah, and, like, flapped his arms around, and he, like, flops around like a fish, and just, if he's laying on the ground, he, like, arches his back upward and, like, thumps around really viciously, basically, and I'll be like, no, Ronan, no, and I'll, like, sternly talk to him, and he'll stop, and he'll look at me, and then usually he just kind of like goes back into it. Um, so I do need to research kind of like how to handle a baby doing that because obviously he doesn't exactly like understand what I'm saying, but at the same time I can't let him get away with it. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do when the communication between us is not that great. He's going off with like facial expressions. I can't really put him in a time out, can I? I don't... I, obviously I'm not going to laugh, like I want to laugh because he looks ridiculous, but I don't want to teach him that it's cute. So I asked um, Linz on like Snapchat if Liv was having temper tantrums because she's like a few weeks older and she was like, oh my gosh, yes, she like arches her back and like kicks around and stuff and she does the same thing, she just kind of like sternly talks to her. So obviously a lot of you are probably moms, if you have any advice on how to handle it, all I can really think to do is just talk to him and he can't, he can't understand my words so I can't have like a conversation about it like, you know, kid, you can't do that because he's just going to stare at me like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm trying to just emote the no, 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 but just let me know, I'm living, learning. You've had enough naked time, you gotta put clothes on. I've got to unbutton it. Ronan. There's buttons. One, two, pink. You have to lay down for this part. Wait. <laughs> two. No, no, no. Ronan. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Prancing and dancing, I 
don't remember the words. Gotta get these pants on your back. There you go, cranky baby. I'm trying to leave him on the ground for extended periods of time instead of in his walker and bouncer because all he wants to do is walk and bounce and he needs to practice, you know, tummy time and crawling and it just makes him really upset so you gotta get used to it, kid. You can do it. I know you can do it. You can't roll away from your problems. You can do it. Yeah. You scoot in. Go on. Lift up. Yeah. Scoot. Scoot your boo. And lift up. See? You could do it. You just scoot one leg forward. You gotta scoot this arm forward. And then you push this leg forward. And then this arm goes forward. <sighs> See? Go on. You can do it. Or you can take a break. Maybe I need to make it more fun for him with some toys. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. He's kicking off of my legs. Oh, there you go. You're doing something. <laughs> Sit. Good puppies. Yeah. Ronan has been sleeping for an hour, which means I can actually pet the pets, and I did dishes, and I mailed mail, and I did laundry. I also looked up a recipe for dinner tonight because we have so much like leftover turkey and I don't want it to go to waste, but it's kind of dry and like meh. So I found a Pinterest recipe, which I guess I'll link down below. Um, I don't know if it's any good because I haven't made it yet, but it's like a tortilla, turkey, black bean soup, and it has cilantro and salsa and stuff in it. So I'm excited, and I mean, we can't just eat soup, so I think we're going to get like polenta and stuff. But I need to feed Ronan his puree when he wakes up. Is he ever going to wake up? I don't know. I checked on him because I'm like paranoid, and I still do that. <laughs> and he is breathing. He's just napping hard, I guess. So when he wakes up, he's going to eat, and then we have to go grocery shopping, and maybe I'll take you guys with us. I don't know, but for now I'm just going to pet the animals. Which includes Bronx, my big loaf of a cat. When Devin came, she's like, gosh, I always forget how big he is. He's quite heavy, aren't you? With your fluffy belly. As you can see, Ronan is awake. Ah, he's in a sweater because we're about to go out running errands. <laughs> but I just fed him some puree because I was doing a review. And he was tantruming. Yes, he was. So I'll insert that so you guys... Oh, I don't even have to insert it. You guys can just see right here. You have to fit. That's a minor tantrum. It is a minor a tantrum. tantrum. Sometimes he flaps his arms and he hits everything. We're going to go on a car ride now. Okay, we are at the grocery store. He's nomming on a recyclable bag because we try not to use the plastic ones. And I think they charge you extra now to use plastic, which is probably good because saving the environment. We are in the Hispanic section, I believe it's called. This one is specifically Mexican. Hispanic apparently is over there. And I need to find some corn tortillas. Flour tortillas. More flour ones. Flour, where's the corn? Aha! I found some white corn tortillas. So he's in here. I guess I'm just gonna pile it up. Got some water and some all-purpose cleaner. Got some organic corn. Ronan will cry if I let him have it. Oh, he's gonna cry anyways. We found the polenta, but do we want to get traditional? Or do we want to get garlic basil? I think we know which one we should get. This one. Which end opens? Yeah. Oh man, just in time. Yay. Last stop is ice cream. Ugh, this bad one is bad though. There's a hole in it. I want this one. California Caramel Almond Crunch. He goes, God, that's cold on my foot. He says it looks yummy. 
You can have it in my milk. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Rona is once again obsessing over Bronx's soft, fuzzy feet, and I'm trying to keep him from touching his flub. It hurts when you touch his flub. He doesn't seem to really care though. Huh? Pretty chill. And I posted a picture of Bronx earlier on my Instagram because it's been so long. I only ever post pictures of Ronan now. He's gotcha good. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I am making dinner. Little corn tortilla things that you put in the soup. And then in here, yeah, yeah. vegetable broth, chicken, you black beans, it. corn, something else. I cannot remember. No, the cilantro we have to put on after. And then we have to cut up some polenta, and that's just for a side, but it's not vegetarian, but that's because Thanksgiving. But I remembered what the last ingredient is. There's half a cup of salsa in there, and it's very hot salsa, apparently. So we're just keeping it a secret from my mom, because she would probably... <laughs> if it's really hot, we have sour cream, so we can just dull it down, but I should probably nurse the baby while we have a little bit of time and it's kind of going to a boil. He's been doing a good job of entertaining himself and now he's just you hungry. I don't know what he looks like, but... Happy. <laughs> Up on the shoulders. Ah, up on my shoulders for the first time. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Ride him, ride him, cowboy. Seems like the higher up he is, the happier he is. The happier he is. He likes to be the tallest person in the room. He needs to be tall and walking. Ah, he needs to go. be short and crawling. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he says I'm so close to my light. Yeah. <laughs> he loves those lights. <laughs> Don't pull. It's okay. He's not pulling much. Boom. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good because I can hold him like <laughs> and this And you don't easily. mind that river of drool that's landing on the top of your head. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> Boo. Boom, beep, boom, beep, boom, beep, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Stu's getting his exercise. Yes. And dinner is served, but it's too hot to eat, so I'll have to tell you what it tastes like. This has some Parmesan some cheese on it. point in the future, because I wouldn't recommend that people eat it quite yet. It's like boiling hot. But we can sure make it pretty. You are in my seat, sir. I would say... <laughs> See? He copies me. Nice job, little man. Yeah. <laughs> Doing it without making a face. Just uh. Mm -hmm. Running. I have to do the face. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Distracting. <laughs> Here is a puff. Can't eat and snuff at the same time. Just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> 